all nations should know America will do what is necessary to ensure our nation's security. We'll be deliberate. It looks like something out of Back to the Future. In fact, this Volkswagen bus may contain the future, a new kind of weapon that a terrorist could use to disrupt and threaten modern life. With a few hundred thousand volts of RF, radio frequency, the weapon can shut down computer systems in a nearby building. So we seem to have gone down hard. A demonstration for congressmen shows a device built from items bought on the internet or at Radio Shack could also shut down hospital equipment supplying intravenous fluids to a patient. If uh, somebody really wanted to uh, be a prankster, a terrorist, a disgruntled employee, and uh, start attacking civilian infrastructure stuff, I think they could do it uh, very easily with this kind of hardware. The demonstration was held here at a military facility, the Aberdeen Proving Ground, but it sought to show that ordinary Americans, civilian targets, should now be aware of what this kind of weapon could do in the hands of terrorists. It could shut down the 911 system at a major telephone exchange, say experts, or the electrical power grid of a major city, or key systems at a major hospital. It could also be used to kill by stopping a heart pacemaker with no one the wiser as to who was the killer. And there is no way to go back and trace that because you haven't destroyed the pacemaker, you simply shut it off for the four minutes that you needed to to stop blood flow to the brain. Pentagon officials have known for years how an enemy could destroy the U.S. infrastructure by setting off a nuclear weapon, not on the ground, but high in the atmosphere, creating a massive electromagnetic pulse. Now, California scientist David Schreiner and his team say defenses against electromagnetic disruption should be built into computers and other microprocessors before the terrorists get their hands on this kind of weapon. For Science and Technology Week, I'm David Ensor. We commercialize it quickly. Um, we, uh, we do the R&D that's necessary to have the, the latest and the brightest idea, but also that we take that new idea and put it into business so that we turn it into a new product with which we can take on the world. The sound will actually cause your skull to vibrate. Sound usually spreads out as it travels, but the focused ultrasound keeps the sound energy in small packets, meaning it can be used to pick out targets without affecting bystanders. And even though the sound waves are incredibly painful, the effects are temporary. There is a tone that can make you lose control of your bowels. Whether it's a change of pressure in your bowels or some other kind of neurological response that it has been said that the military used it, that people will lose their bowels at a certain time. You know, if he stands in front of the sound waves and the sound waves cause confusion. Adam is being blasted with a five hertz tone. Out of control, shaking your body until something comes out of it. Some secret weapon this is turning out to be. But here's something interesting. There seems to be a little collateral damage going on. Physically, I did feel anxiety. I didn't feel any mental or emotional anxiety, but physically I felt something definitely in my chest area. Physically, I, I feel something in my chest. Uh, I don't feel like sitting down. I feel like I have to move around. Even John Myers feeling the effects. He hasn't built speakers like these before. I started feeling a little nauseous right away, like upset stomach and, not, and kind of um, lightheaded. So I, I walked away from the thing, felt a little bit dizzy. 